Duke continues to play awfully well. They pummeled Virginia Saturday, 73 to 48. They held Virginia without a field goal for over nine minutes in that first half against the Cavaliers, and we are underway as the Wolfpack wins the opening tip. And Duke still missing the freshman guard, Caleb Foster, out with an injury, but played exceedingly well without him over the weekend. Burns getting his first touch, getting in close for the hook, and that'll drop in. You want to do go right at Kyle Filipowski, put Duke in a position where they may have to double. You know, Burns not a bad path. John Shire, the win over Virginia, his 50th. He's the fastest Duke coach ever to get to 50 wins. And this is a fast strike here as Marcel will score it. Proctor on the move, and that one spits free. Up ahead, Horn racing the floor. He'll lay it in. And Duke wants a timeout. Straight to the basket. Watch this pass by Michael O'Connell. What just an excellent full court pass to DJ Horn for the quick strike after that long rebound. NC State. Duke missing their first four to begin this one. Burns gets a clean look, and it'll drop in. He's like a dancing bear in the post. Proctor Airborne, tough shot, gets it to go. Tyrese Proctor he had it down in the passing lane. That caused that near turnover. Big junior from France. Nice pass, Young. A couple of fakes, and he bounces it off the window. Here's Roach. Well, that was kind of ugly. Mitchell fought for it, fights again. Great effort there for the basket. Proctor lifts. Got it. And Duke comes all the way back and then some to grab an 11 to 9 lead on that effort. DJ Burns jumping out looked like there was a near switch and that's not something NC State wants. And they've been the number one passing team in the league as well coming into play tonight. Burns another touch. Here's O'Connell. Yes. Up the net from three point land. Young up to set the screen. He will step forward and drop in too. Oh, what a nice play by Jeremy Roach. Roach is going to try to put DJ Burns in as many ball screens as he can. And you got Casey Morcell off balance, just takes that little. Burns with a catch. Got a tiptoe into that paint. That's tough to stop. And seven points. Stewart going up high, snags another rebound. Finds power and he nails it. The three-pointer from the corner. That's why it's 13 to 14. If my math is correct, Dave O'Brien. And I believe it is, sir. <laughs> Under nine in the first half. Burns again switches it in. He has nine points. He's listed in the media guide as 275, but I think that's his left leg only. Proctor gives off for Stewart with a leaner and knocks it down. Again, this is with Filipowski saddled with a couple of fouls. Oh, look at that get downstairs to the arm for the easy slam. Duke has found their offense defensively. John Shire saying stick to the plan, not wanting that backside help. Power again. Rounding out. Duke comes back with another couple points. McCain on the baseline. Southern Florida. His dad was a marvelous surgeon. Inside Middlebrook's in. Traffic will lay it in and go to the line. In the corner, he just dragged the defense. He got Michael O'Connell popping out. And then Ben Middlebrook's two fouls till the second half. Burns trying to make a spin on Stewart and hits it. Looking for an opening into the paint. Got it. Then out top, you give a little move. He spins back. Who wants to take a charge on that? Burns coming out to guard Roach. Shot clock at five. Proctor tried to make a move. Now he'll launch it. Oh. And hit it. And that was just a fantastic shot. The defense by Marcel was excellent. Burns rolling right past his defender once again. After two really quiet games, he has 15 points. 
on the drive, Rose. That's a pretty play right by everybody. And they're 13 to 2 in second chance points ahead of NC State. That, that's really what's keeping them in there, second chance opportunities. Proctor way downtown and nothing but net. And the Gators go get it off the offensive glass. Roach found an opening, and that'll drop in. Nice touch for Jeremy Roach. And eight points. Taylor up high. Orsell trying to get free. With three seconds left in the half. Turn around, and he hits it. And that will conclude the first half. Very entertaining first half. You have to think NC State's going to go straight to DJ Burns, but it's broken up by Roach. Roach with the theft and with the finish. Burns looking to go to work again. Comes up top for Morcell. Good job by DR to keep that alive. His line driver will go. They got nine extra points because of it. Nine extra shots because of it. He said, because of that, we have no transition points as well. They're only transition points. To get that pass from Burns. Burns with his third assist. Roach scooping and finishing that one. Burns on Filipowski. And got position and dropped in two more for 17 points. Filipowski looking for a cutter. McCain fires, no. Mitchell, what a tough rebound and a stick back too. But still locked up in a tight one, a three-point advantage. They are, yes, a stick that one. He can do that too. Filipowski, he will connect. Roach. Stewart had an impactful first half. He rolls on in and drops in two more. John Shire here in recent days. Worn around the back, nine to get off the shots. He's trying to get going, leaning in two points. The pack trying to take a lead here. Rebound batted to the baseline. Horn a short jumper, got it. Uh, give Ben Meadowbrooks the credit there for keeping that ball alive. Roach with a triple. Another high rebound. Young had it come free. Taylor up ahead, Diara. Roach deep in the corner, and mail it, but it's caught by Stewart. And up and in for two. Yeah, anytime, Dave, there's an air ball, it's a... On the run, Roach pushing the tempo. McCain for three-point land, swishes it in. Filipowski turns to fire, knocks wow. it down, a three. That's how tight this game has been. This is the biggest lead, six points. Burns takes a stumble. Picked up by McCain, working on O'Connell. He'll lay it up and in. How do you guard this? It's like playing against your dad in the driveway when you're eight years old. Open threes. You bring a double, and you're, you have to ask yourself, how do you feel about open shots anytime you double the post? So that NC State doesn't knock down a bunch of threes. Filipowski, tough catch there by Roach, and even more difficult shots. Warren looking for room with the floater. Rebound tipped and controlled. Here's McCain. McCain wants to stop, pop, and knock it back. It's a big time play. Diara can't answer. Burns strong. Count that. That's goaltending on Stewart. Proctor over the top. Stewart with a finish, and he'll be off to the line. A really smart play by Duke. They tried to give him up the bucket, but he's not. He's playing more in drop coverage. But that just gives Sean Stewart that didn't make a clean catch to get that shot off. Roach blown right by and will lay it in with a quick step. Some of it's come in transition. Burns again off a window as sweet as you please. Looking for more here. Pass will launch a long one and knock it down a three pointer. And that's what Duke was trying to avoid. Proctor gave up the dribble. Filipowski, shot clock to six. Orsell sticking to him. What a pass. And nice finish, too, by Stewart. Burns dumping it down low. Diarra. Oh, it hung on the iron. 
He wins it back. Here's Horn in the corner. Horn to the baseline. Wow. Yes. McCain over the shoulder. They work it around the horn to Roach. Got it. It's a three. Hoop to run. They've got a three on one. And a fast break. The tip won't go. Roach is underneath. Here's McCain. He's fouled and he hits it. He hits the triple. Proctor comes up to guard him. Diara will heave it up there and can't hit it. Morcel with a big rebound returns it. Well, what a big rebound by Casey Morcel. Grabbed that with two hands. In recent years, Duke has had some problems on this floor. There's Roach blowing by everybody again and dropping it in with the right hand for 21 points. He's been fantastic. Just his athleticism, his energy, he's made a bunch of big plays. Filipowski off the fake. Got the air airborne, and he completes it. Cameron indoor. Jay will be there with Dan Schulman. Burns off the inbounds. We'll lay it in. And a timeout NC State. Not going to do that. Shot clock again down to three. Filipowski attacks and lays it in. A seconds here at PNC. Duke winning it. An impressive second half for the Blue Devils. 79 64, the final score. Well, with a great second half performance on the offensive end, Duke was able to control the tempo of the second half. You've got to give NC State credit. They